Okay. I decided I'm going to start doing my podcast. You know, people are always telling me, you need to do this more often. You need to do something, you know. So I guess I'm going to start doing my little podcast, um, doing a little blog talk radio. I'm going to do a little video and I'm going to do a little contest entering. I'm a little, I'm always been a late bloomer because I've always looked out for my children before I looked out for anybody else. So sometimes I put myself on hold. And so now I'm taking myself on hold because my kids are older now. But um, one of the things I just want y'all to understand is that I'm straight up. I'm real. I'm realistic. And a lot of people can't take that. So a lot of times I have to find myself scaling myself back. So that's another reason why I haven't been doing a lot of the things I could have been doing. A lot of people are getting paid for some of the things I've been doing for years. So, I think it's maybe time I need to start doing this because these bills around here looking like car notes and, oh, they're huge. So, understand. <coughs> Excuse me, everyone. I always have bronchitis cutting up on me. So, you may not, you may hear me cough from time to time, but take it for love. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of touch on a subject today. Uh, and that subject is lace fronts. And um, I know a lot of people been online complaining about how lace fronts is this, lace fronts is that. The problem is not that lace fronts are the problem. It's the people who have access to them that do not have the expertise or the know-how to choose a good lace front and to apply and wear it properly without destroying what God gave you naturally. So that's where the issue comes in. Um, When you're in the club, your eyebrows and your hairline meet that's a problem okay uh, when you're in the club and your hairline is round like the 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 the, the, the airway over, over a bridge the hang what do you call it the, the overhang of a bridge that's a problem when you're taking off these wigs and you're taking off patches of hair with them that's a problem when you look like you belong on one of the Chinese theater movies, fighting along with the extras in the background, waiting on Bruce Lee to kick him in the throat, your lace front, that's a problem. Because nobody's hairline is naturally in the shape of an upside down you. Nobody's hairline should be rounded unless God gave you that rounded um, hairline. And there's really nothing you can do about it. You know, maybe add yourself some trash, grow some bangs or whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. But what we need to stop doing is altering the, our natural beauty for the sake of following society's label of beauty. Because some of y'all standing around in the club with hair, the color of red, just because you've seen it on Rihanna, it doesn't fit everybody. Just like blonde hair doesn't fit everybody. If you know you're the color of asphalt black and you have on a black eyebrow you, I mean you, your eyebrows are naturally black and then you have on a blonde wig when people visually see you number one is going to make you look like a monkey in a wig and then after we get over that initial shock and close our mouths we have the pleasure of laughing at your ass all weekend while you think you hot in the club you think you was hidden in the club You look like you've been beat up in the club or beat up with a club. So we're going to need you to start understanding the the, the contrast of skin color to hair color. What is a compliment and what is just a hot ass mess? It makes no sense that fashion designers, hairstylists, and all these hair colorists and all these people go to school to become (coughs) educated in this craft. And then you go home with your non-expertise having ass and put together some shit and then you go in the club looking a hot ass mess. We have access to too many magazines, books, how-tos, videos, internet, interwebs, podcasts, video casts, where we can find all kinds of fashions, hairstyles, hair colors, and it makes no sense that all of this stuff that we're wearing is taken away from our beauty instead of adding to it. And what I mean by that is when you're sitting here in the club and you weigh 200 pounds and you're wearing enough material 
that couldn't cover up someone that is 120 pounds. Something is wrong. Don't nobody want to see your overhang. Don't nobody want to see your gut sitting in your lap, folded down and pressed and shaking together. Don't nobody want to see your four rows of boobs. Don't nobody want to see your back fat or your back titties, or as I call them, back itties. Don't nobody want to see your thighs rubbing together and the blackness therein. Don't nobody want to see your feet pushing down on them shoes to the point where the heels are screaming, Hallelujah, thank God, thank you, Jesus. Don't nobody want to see that. There is nothing wrong with putting on clothes that fit you, compliment you, and make you look like a beautiful young lady. Nothing wrong with it. Now, why all these grown women out here having these little girls walking around looking a hot ass mess, and then not giving them the know how on how to accentuate their young beauty in a young way, as opposed to having your children go from 13 to 35 in one night? You need to wake up and see what kind of daughters you're raising. A lot of y'all are leaving a gap. And you're, you're sending these girls to their proms looking like hookers. I'm not even going to get on that today. We're going to try to stay on the lace fronts. But these lace front wigs have really gotten out of hand. Now, yesterday, <coughs> I had the horrible pleasure of seeing a young lady that I know she's been either wearing weave, lace fronts, or something or the other. But her whole front hairline was gone in the shape of a U. So I knew it had been a lace front. She had a little bit of hair. Then she had a full, clean, smooth, like a man's chin when he just freshly shaved. And then her hairline started. So when you have a a, a trench of hair missing in between the first hair and then your real hair. It's time to stop using weave glues and all this other stuff and just start loving who you are, loving your own hair. And then to have your hair napping like Africa in the front and have a European straight ponytail on your head. Sometimes you got to bring those nationalities together. If you're going to have nap ass hair, go ahead and throw your Afro puff on it. If you need to have that little extra bit of hair, if they really, really need to put that weave on your head, Go ahead and get your Afro pup. But don't have Puerto Rican hair in the back and, and, and South Sudan in the front. This just it just don't it's just not right. I mean who is do I need to start teaching a class on what weaves, what clothes, what things go together? Come on, women, we got to come together on this. And when you sit up here and destroy your own God-given natural hair that you grow on a regular. You won't wash your own hair. But you'll go buy, pay somebody else for their clean hair. Put it in your head and let it tear your hair to pieces. A woman's hair is her glory. A woman's hair is what's supposed to accentuate the natural beauty that God gives. Even if you're ugly, God give you some hair to, to kind of... Pump up that ugly into a little bit of, you will look all right. But I'm sick of looking at all this shiny, plastic doll hat in the, in, 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 in the club, scaring people. Or when I walk by you during the winter and I got a sweater on, I come home, I got to pick all y'all hair out my sweater. Cashmere ain't cheap. And if you gonna go to the club with this doll hair wig on, bring a bring a brush. Cause when it starts balling up, when you turn your neck and you you got straight hair at the root, and then a afro in the middle, and then it's straight and matted at the bottom, that shit ain't cute. I got a headache. Cause I I pictured that shit. Get it to damn gather. Start getting back into using grease. Oprah got all these motherfuckers just discombobulated thinking they can wear their hair with no grease in it. We need grease in our hair. <clears throat> Stop worrying about your hair swinging and moving. 
Worry about it keeping it healthy and growing. That's more important than anything. You ain't got to go out here and buy all this fake hair. If you just have pride in your own. Your own hair will grow a certain length. Stop frying and dying and, and stop following every damn celebrity and that come out with a weird hairstyle. I'm so tired of looking at y'all looking like the Rainbow Coalition. You are a black woman. If you are over the age of 19, stop putting all that colored hair in your head. You look like a fool. 40-year-old woman walking around with, with goddamn red hair, hair, red hair in her head. And I ain't talking about Auburn. I'm talking about red. Like fire engine red. Like that time of the month red. Rihanna do that shit because she's making money off of that. She's on stage. She has to stick out. That's what she do. She don't have she don't have the full singing talent, so she uses her looks to get there. But some of y'all don't have that 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 energy. Y'all don't have that that presence that Rihanna has. Namely that beauty. Some of y'all ugly ass women putting on these red wigs is scaring the newborn babies. Stop. Go back to black. Maybe a little bit of brown. But keep it together. But please, stop ripping up your hairline. Walking around looking like Bozo the Clown. Trying to follow trends that are not for you. Stop trying to emulate people that are on stage, film, and screen, and be your own self. I'm so tired of people copying off of people talking about, I am an original. You are an original copy. When there is more than five women in a club with red hair, you are not an original, baby. But you need to get it together. <clears throat> You're also scaring the men. Men are not as excited about them lace fronts and that red hair as you think they is. Or are. I'm not saying they won't screw you, because they'll still screw you. But they will not run their fingers through your hair. And they will not brag about that, my girl got good hair, or my girl got real hair. They gonna be talking about your hair, man. Fuck that hoe. She got some fucked up hair, but I'll I fuck her, you know. So don't be thinking you the shit in that red hat because they, they talking about your ass. Look on YouTube, put lace front songs in there, and you got a whole bunch of little dudes saying that lace front shit, that lace front shit, yeah, they don't like it. And if you say it ain't for the men, you're a damn lie. You put it in there because you thought you was cute, you thought you was being cute, and as a result, you scared, folks. So get it the damn gather. We're going to pray for you. And don't be surprised if your hairline leaves you and says, fuck this, I'm out. And then when that trend goes away and people going back to natural hair, you walk around here with a skin headband where your hair used to be. So we're going to pray for you and hope that you start to learn to love yourself and your hair. Your own hair. Thank you. And good night.